Raising a child is a deeply personal experience. There's no official handbook on what to do. Every mother makes her own decisions. For example, some women feed their babies formula while others choose to breastfeed. Recently, a Redondo Beach woman was told that was not the breast idea. Katie Hamilton joins us on the filter. Katie, thanks for being here. Did you like that? Thank you. Yes, it was very cute. Okay, you have a three-year-old daughter and a 21-month-old. 21 I do. All right, you and your family were visiting the Los Angeles County Museum of Art, and you decided to feed your 21-month-old. Uh -huh. You sat down at a bench outside the museum. Inside. Inside. Mm -hmm. Pick up the story from there. I, I sat down to nurse her. She was ready for a nap. And, um, well, a guard came over right. and said, um, you need to cover up. And uh, I said, no, you know, there's a law that protects me. No. She said, well, there's two patrons, and, um, and they're not comfortable. You need to cover up. Um, nothing was exposed one bit. And you, sometimes you do see a little breast, yes. But really, people, we're in L.A. We're in a museum. We're in a museum. There's, there's nude art everywhere. And we're in L.A. We see scantily clad women, children are bombarded with this culture mm -hmm. around them, and we're really scared of a woman nourishing her baby. I wrote a letter to them, and LACMA apologized, and I, I'm absolutely sure that there's not going to be an incident happening again at LACMA. Have you seen the uh, latest issue of Time magazine? I have. I've right. seen it, yes. It shows a child standing on a chair being fed by his mother. Um, yeah. It wonders, <laughs> is attachment parenting mm -hmm. driving mothers to the extreme? What do you think? Well, first of all, this, this picture, this inflammatory picture that I feel like is um, really trying to incite mommy wars. I feel like the pose, you know, the hand on the hip and the idea that there's this child hanging off your breast um, and while you're sta she's standing on a chair or something is, is just, it's not, it's not really realistic. No. And, and it, looked, it actually looked disturbing. I mean, yeah, that it picture does. looked disturbing. It does look disturbing, it, and that's what it's meant to do. And also the title. Um, are you mom enough? Are you mom enough? Are you mom enough? What we need to ask is, are we living in a culture that values mom, mothers enough, that gives moms the tools to be the best moms they can be? Now, after the inc incident at the museum, you mm -hmm. took your case to Facebook. Mm -hmm. What was the response you got from other mothers. Oh, thank you, thank you. You're my hero. This happened to me, you know, um, and uh, just such a, a positive response. Um, I sincerely believe LACMA is has we're in good we're in good terms, and and I really want to point out the hypocrisy of you know we're in LA. Come on, really, this happens in LA. It's absurd. Yeah. Yep. You know, with all these sexual, you know, hypersexed culture, and a nursing mom is really this this villain. Gotta cover that up. <laughs> well, you know, I'll tell you something. I think you did a great job of making your point. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, Katie, thanks very much for being with us, and good luck. Thank you. Thanks for having me.